Well, good evening, folks, and welcome back to the farm. Thanks for joining me in the newly refurbished study. This is uh, this is the mezzanine. It looks it looks a lot different than it previously has. Not completely finished, as you can see. I've got the shelving units up, some knickknacks. The knickknacks are just there, kind of kind of get an idea how things fit, how they're going to flow, how they're going to function, and then all of that has to get boxed up and put away. And then I'm going to get in there with some really nice, rich mahogany stain and just make this absolutely minty fresh but what's happening today on the farm hmm not a lot <laughs> not a lot and i trust me i am not well pleased about it so back in october of last year actually we signed a contract to have a barn built here and it was going to be done in the final week of january and that got pushed off because of labor shortages and supply issues into February and then that got pushed off again because the yeah anyways so now here we are what is it today like the four I think it's the 14th of March today and they were going to start this morning in fact yesterday they were out they pounded some pegs and they said yeah you know what we'll be all the machinery all the equipment everything is here like it's here the guy showed up at eight o'clock this morning fiddle farted around for about 20 minutes and then they left and I hadn't even come out of the house yet, and they left, and I'm like, hmm, that's kind of strange. But yesterday, they were kind of complaining it was pretty cold, you know, it was like minus 12 yesterday, which, whatever, if you're working hard enough, it's not really cold at all. But anyways, this morning, it was minus 10. I thought, oh, maybe, you know, just maybe, there, it gets a little bit cold. It was forecasted to warm up here later in the day. Maybe they went for breakfast, and they're going to come back and start off once the heat of the day sets in. Well, no, I got a text, you know, a couple hours later saying, yeah, we're, we're not doing your barn this week. Uh, <laughs> we're just, no, we're not. So then the guy showed up half an hour later and I went over and asked like, hey, like, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean we're not doing it this week? Oh, well, one guy's, one guy's got a sore finger and the other guy's, you know, not feeling that great. And uh, we've worked 30 days straight. And so we're out. And they just, they locked up everything and then sayonara down the road. So, so yeah, no barn this week. And I was just aghast. I like, I can't believe it. Like yesterday you were here and you're building it. And today you're not at all. So anyways, on the phone with Integrity Building Structures or Integrity Post Frame Structures, whatever they're called, Integrity. And said like, hey, like I'm, I got stuff lined up. There's, there's kick plates, there's you know sand that's coming for the floor i gotta run electrical i gotta do all these things is happening before april 15th which is rapidly coming because we're going to be lambing here right away and i'd like to have this building done not just the outside done but like the inside done so it's actually a functional building before lambing gets here just to make it that much easier and uh Tick tock, tick tock, right? This, uh, the, yeah, it's we're getting right down to the wire. So I was pretty disappointed, anyways, in that. But yeah, phone call to the phone call to the company and hey, like, what can you do here? Like, uh, we got any other crews? No, no, there's just there's just nobody, right? I don't know where everybody went, but it just kind of speaks to how real the labor shortage is. Not only you know here like here in northern alberta it's a huge thing there's a there's a big transient population there's not a lot of the workforce that actually lives here so then when folks just pack up and go home like it has a serious impact right but also in in alberta largely that's that's a, a, a greater thing right there's a lot of these boom town communities where yeah 80 percent of the community doesn't actually reside in the community. They're just transient population. So when they decide they're packing up, holy man, you better be ready to roll up the sidewalks if you live here because there's nobody to do the work for you. So it's a it's a it's a real challenge. Now on the customer service side, that's where I was really disgruntled because, you know, we've waited five months for this building to show up. And when the guys actually get here with the equipment, the materials, and there was, there was four of them here yesterday and four of them here at eight o'clock this morning. And then to just pull the plug with uh, really not much explanation, that's that's pretty concerning, right? So, you know, if the guy says, hey, you know what, we're, we're in a bind here and I can't, you know, I'm, I'm shorthanded. You know, one guy, one guy gets injured and he hurts his hand. You know, I can, I can deal with that. But just the kind of the, the very nonchalant, like, 
yeah, we're going on days off. We'll see you in a week. You know, that the customer service just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So I just got to thinking, like, you know, if this had been 15 years ago when I worked on the rigs, I'd have, the whole situation, how it played out, I'd have been phoning the office for five bus tickets, five new roughnecks, and a case of garbage bags, and just, like, pack your stuff, you're done, you're not coming back. But the reality is, what are you going to do? Where did everybody go? There's, there's just literally nobody to do anything. And I can't go out there. They left the keys and everything, but I can't go out there and build that barn myself. Like, even if I had a couple of, a couple of hands, you know, it's gonna take me a month to do what those guys can do in four days because this, they just, boom, 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 they just cookie cutter these buildings, right? So anyways, that's the disappointing news for today. And uh, looks like I've got the rest of the week to not give you updates on the barn, which is pretty disappointing. My apologies, although it's not for me to apologize. Anyways, it's uh, it's getting on to be supper time here, so I'm gonna run in the house and see about fixing up some salad. So I'll let you go for now. I hope your day's going better than mine, and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>